And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to create an easy fisheye effect in Photoshop. Let's open a new image, I'll give it a new name and unlock it. Afterwards, I'll use the crop tool. Maybe like so. Press enter when you're done. I'll copy it once. We will have a backup. I always like to work with backups in case I might run into a problem later on. Make sure the image copy is activated and then go to filter and we'll use our three rise filter. It's under distort. Let me zoom out a little bit. You can adjust the amount right here. Maybe we will give that a try. If you don't like it the way it is, just press Ctrl Z and then go back to your filter, distort and spherize and increase the amount. Let's make it 100%, press on OK. Now we want to give it a typical frame, which is an ellipse. But let me first create another copy that we are going to work with. Activate the ellipse tool. Go to style, make sure fixed size is activated. And now we need to go to image, image size, and there we will find width and height. We need to type it in our width and height. In the menu of the ellipse tool, let me check the height. And we've already got it, that's fine. Then go to your left top corner and left click and there is our ellipse tool. Give your image copy to layer a layer mask and now we want to create a background. Open a new layer below our image copy tool, activate the paint bucket tool, black color and click on it. We've got a black background. Go back to our image copy tool, right click blending options, inner glow. We don't need a noise. Make sure you've got a black color and this gradient. We can increase the size a little bit and decrease the choke slightly. That is fine, make sure normal as a blending mode and opacity of 100% is activated. And we're almost done. Some fisheye effects don't reach the corners of the canvas. So let me show you how that is done as well. It's quite simple, just crop it once more, go to your background and then make left and right black again. So you might run into that kind of fisheye effect as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.